All right. It looks like we're uh we're good to go. We are recording. Welcome to episode one of Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Uh, we're gonna be playing as uh, the regular person. I think her name is Cadence. Candace. Cadence. It's Cadence, not Candace. <laughs> it makes me think of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Phineas and Ferb. Yes. All right. We're gonna hop into normal zone or all zones normal mode. Um. I don't know why the speed run timer is on, cause I'm not doing a speed run. Um. Can I turn that off? Options. Gameplay options. Oh God. Show item hints. Show diamond reminder. Okay, that's not there. Audio graphical. Change soundtrack. Change skin. Uh, doesn't look like that. Uh, we can show item. Quick lobby movement. Pause when minimized. Show cutscenes. Show boss intros. Sure. Um. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we can turn that off. Um, that's kind of unfortunate that it moved my uh, thing. But um, I might... We're going to move my webcam up for the first episode of anything other than... Anything. We're going to move that up. Just so it's more out of the way, I guess. And we're going to go on with our lives. So this is Crypt of the Necrodancer. Um, if you don't know what it is, it's a rhythm roguelike game. And it's quite fun. I would say I'm not good at it, because I'm not. But last time I said I wasn't good at something, um, I succeeded my expectations of how far I would get in the run. Cough, Gungeon, episode one of the Gungeon series. So... If you're interested in seeing that, I highly suggest you go watch it because you might be slightly surprised with how far I get as well. I guess depending on your expectations. I am playing with a controller, which might not be the greatest idea for this game. But here we are playing with a controller. Hopefully it doesn't screw me up too much and I just this run's not gonna last that long, fellas. I don't know. But we did just run into a blue slime, which is the easiest enemy in the game. Arguably one of them, at least. We already beat the boss. So we're gonna be looking for... The exit's right there. But we're just gonna be looking for new weapons, any items, any way we could... uh increase the odds of this run going farther so um, we're gonna try our best to succeed like I said if you watch the Gungeon video which is probably gonna go up before this one honestly I don't know which Gungeon video you know when the schedule is gonna be but strange vision that's fine that's plus one damage though um I don't know how long this is going to be. We're going to just quickly heal. And I think... I keep missing beats just because I'm bad. But I think that's all there really is to do on this floor. Or this level. So we are going to move on. Word. These are red bats. This funky vision is going to kill me. Probably should not have taken it. There's a dragon. Dragon's dead. Sick. Alright. Um, so we could speed run. And just go to the next floor already if we really wanted to or next level playing all these roguelike games is not going to be good for 
my terminology because the entire Gungeon Run I was calling each chamber floor. And I'm going to probably continue to do the same thing with this, calling things floors because as I've mentioned many times before, Isaac is my main game, so all my terminology is going to come straight from that. I would like... How did I lose my coin multiplier there? I don't know. Down left. Get out of the way. I really want both of these things. I like the long swords. But I also want... That map. Because that should give me maps on every single floor. If I believe... I guess if I'm correct. Talking and trying to play a rhythm game is going to be quite difficult. So we're going to try it and slowly but surely get better. Like I mentioned in the Gungeon video, this is these games are just going to be all about improvement. Constant improvement to make you guys feel better about me. Oh, three health drumstick. Nice. Okay, we're back to full health. Looks like we can continue onward to the next level. And here we go. Okay, we got a shop up here. We need a bomb to get in, so we're just going to probably bomb in. Okay. Now, fun fact, here's what we're going to do with this. Looks like there's health, looks like there's a whip and some boots. Alright, that's going to go to the next floor for us, which is going to be nice. Hopefully it's something good. Um, we are going to bomb into this. I kind of want Leviathan. I have one bomb left. So now the thing is we can float over all of these all of this crap without having to worry about us falling into it. We have one bomb left, which kind of sucks. We have another minotaur. That's fine. He is now dead. We're going to get another bomb here. Sick. Alright, what are we looking at? We're going to have our first boss coming up. Our first big boss coming up on the next level. We're going to get a weapon from this chest. Hopefully it's something good. I don't really care for that. Long swords and... Rapiers, Raper, Rapiers, the, the French weapon. Don't really exactly know how to pronounce it, obviously. Because I just don't really want to say Raper, because obviously, like, I don't think it's called Raper. And it just makes me think of... Not the correct thing. But we are going to pick up these heart containers on the off chance that we find some more health because then we can fill them thus meaning that we can get hit more and live so the hope is to at least get to um I guess I want to keep my sunglasses for the extra damage What? Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on a minute. Where did that come from? Oh my god. I was like, dude, we got this in the bag. I'm gonna live with one heart. But he just decides to whip out his freaking lasers. God. 
All right. Well, run two. Uh, I was really hoping to get farther than that on our first run, but my own incompetencies are the death of me again. Honestly, I completely forgot that that guy even had that good of an ability. You could even argue that that wasn't even that good of an ability. I'm just dumb. And forgot about it. So, now we know for next time, if we fight Death Metal... Um... Look out for his lasers, because they're quite powerful. It's going to be in here. We're going to get cheese. He's going to laser me, I think. Okay. Dragon, not too bad, not too bad. Um, man, I'm still kind of disappointed in myself for not beating Death Metal there, but and just my my rhythm is all out of whack. The amount of beats that I've missed is honestly kind of terrifying. Would you believe me when I, if I tell you that I played instruments since 6th grade? <laughs> Would you believe that with how bad my rhythm is? Granted, you know, I'm just going to continue blaming the fact that I am uh, playing with a controller. Um, we're gonna buy this apple. We're gonna use the apple. So now we get every 10 kills, we're gonna get a heal. We're gonna get to the next floor, hopefully before the song ends. It doesn't really matter if the song ends because we just lose our coin multiplier, which, you know, I'm gonna lose by myself anyway because have you ever seen me? You know, I could just, like, not use my controller I could just use my keyboard um, that would probably be oh, I want that that'd probably be the better idea but I just like the comfort of my controller in my hands that's very disappointing okay Nice. Solid. Solid maneuvering. So I need to get 163 coins. I have two bombs, so I'll be able to get at least 50 from the shop just blowing up the walls. Like you've seen me do several times before. I was going to say, if I could not lose my coin multiplier, that would really help too, because then I would be able to get more coins, but do you really think I'm going to be able to keep my coin multiplier for more than three beats? Because you'd be really overestimating how good I am at this game <laughs> if you thought I'd be able to do that. We got our heal, though. Sick, nasty. We're almost there. We have another section up here that we'll be able to get. We should be able to get our enough coins without having to bomb anything. Yep, because we'll get 25 coins from this wall right here. But who knows? Maybe this will contain a, uh, an item that's better than the one I wish to buy. And granted, it is the same exact weapon, but I'm still going to buy it. Because this will give me healing, as well as massive damage. 
You know what? Um, we're gonna do this. We're gonna buy that. Buy that. And I think we're gonna move on. That was a nice shop because now we're gonna have cheaper shops from here on out. We have a cheese which is gonna heal us. We're gonna get a full heart of healing from our blood sword as well as our thorn thing. Are you. Oh no, never mind. It just. We're gonna get the same amount of healing. It's just going to happen sooner. Do you see? Because it went from 10 to... Are you serious? Ridiculous. Okay. Okay. That was bad. I'm going to quickly clear myself a path to fight this dragon. Okay, dragon's dead. We're gonna get our heal and two kills. No! I accidentally used the cheese! I fat fingered the cheese! No! That could have been our saving grace! I'm so mad at myself, dude! <sighs> I'm just happy that I have the healing from my helmet and my sword. Because if I didn't, I'd be even more upset about fat fingering the cheese. What? And we're gonna buy everything. <laughs> Now, with the obsidian armor, we really need to try and keep our multiplier, because obsidian stuff gives you more benefits the higher the multiplier, the higher multiplier you have. So, now it's going to be... Oh, we're at the boss! Okay. Flawless victory, baby. That's what we like to see. Alright, what do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Do we want utility? We want healing. We want healing. Three health, baby. Let's go. Don't. Don't fat. Coming and going on his don't fat finger the drumstick, but this too. Time he seemed more excited. Don't fat finger the drumstick. He said he'd found it. Some great treasure. When I was older, I found the notes he left behind. Directions to a graveyard. Uncle Eli tried to stop me. But Dad had been gone for two years. I had to find him. There's your story. Her dad's missing. We're trying to find him. We found his notes. Our uncle was like, Girl, you better not do this. And we're like, Uncle. Do you actually think you're going to be able to stop me from doing this? Do I want... I want to be able to stand still and keep my multiplier. I think that's going to be more... Beneficial. Because if I get in a jam... I can just stand still... And think about it. And think about what the next move is going to be. Just got to feel the music, guys. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Feeling it. Are you guys feeling this? Are you feeling it? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? I'm feeling it now. Okay. I don't want any of those. We're
We're gonna try and uh get this box down here. Because we wanna blow it up. An apple. Not as good as our uh chicken drumstick. Okay, we're gonna be able to kill this guy. Not bad, Ben. Ooh. We have a lot of money. A lot of money. And next floor we go. Three bombs here. Nice pickup. Dragon already. Got myself in a pickle a little bit. Okay. Dragon's already dead. This is getting kind of intense. Um, I pollet. I apologize for not talking as much, but like, <laughs> I'm really trying to focus a lot with this game just because I kind of have to. And I'm not, like I've mentioned many times, I'm not as familiar with it. Okay. Okay, we have full health again. We can't go there. Um, I honestly think we're gonna do this. We're gonna hit this. We're gonna knock this down to the next floor. Get our three bombs from that. Kill that guy. And just see if there's anything else useful on this floor. But seems like we have done just about everything that I would like to. This run is looking a lot more promising than the last one. And I'm not just saying that because we uh, got past the first boss. <laughs> We're just going to move on. Okay. I fat fingered my drumstick. God dang it, dude. <sighs> I kind of want to just get the flat defense. Because I'm having a hard time keeping my multiplier going. So that's what I'm going to do. It might not be... I know that... I'm pretty sure that the multiplier... If I do have the full multiplier... It gives... Um... Probably... Probably gives... Two... Defense... Rather than the 1.5 that I'm getting now. Trying to get this on the spikes. <laughs> to see what's inside. Nice. Plus one damage. That's actually really good to go along with my blood weapon. I am going to pick up this apple now. Because I fat fingered my freaking drumstick. God, dude, I'm, I'm I'm honestly really upset about that. Honest, it, it, as long as it doesn't like really screw me f for doing that, then I won't be as upset. But
All right, looks like we're going to the next boss. Coral Riff. Coral Riff. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Nice. That was that was very clean. Very very clean. Um, we're gonna go utility. That's a a ring that looks like we can phase through walls. I'm gonna keep the ring that I have because I think that gives me cheaper shops. Wait, yeah, ring of phasing versus cheaper shops. We have twelve thousand money. Um, let's just keep the cheaper shops because I think the ring of phasing is actually going to hurt me more than help me. When I, was only seven. I heard dad and uncle Eli arguing after the funeral. Now I have no choice Eli. I have to find the golden loot and abandon your child. But these notes shouldn't take long to find. What was so important about golden loot? I don't know. What's so important about the golden loot? All right. It's been a while since I've been on this icy mumbo jumbo. That was almost kind of scary. Okay. That was a mistake. Not going to be too detrimental to our success on this floor. Around this level. I would really just like to. That's upsetting. Okay, so we could go to the next floor already. But I am gonna quickly see if we can find the shop, if there is one. Should be down here to the right if the shop is gonna be on this floor. Pretty sure that there's a shop on every floor. Yup, it's right there. So obviously if you stand on the cheese, we can get our cheese back. All right, don't fat finger the cheese twice, Ben. Okay, there's nothing good in the shop for us. The fact that we still have our base shovel kind of makes me upset. But, you know, it's not going to be too detrimental as of right now. It could come in handy later to have a better shovel. So, if I get the opportunity, I am going to try and get a better shovel. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. That's kind of upsetting. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, okay, okay. Slowly, we're things are looking okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Damn. That's upsetting. I had a teleporter thing and the freaking guy who turned it into an, a freaking hot block ruined it for me. That's upsetting, but 
this blood longsword is saving my life, dude. I guess we'll get the... Oh, dig anything but take damage? No, thank you. Is that everything? That's everything on this floor already. We need one more kill, so I think I'm just gonna chill on this floor and wait for another one of those things to spawn. Maybe. Just so I can get all my health back. But if one doesn't spawn in the next couple seconds, I'm just gonna go to the next floor. Because having an extra half heart going to the next floor is not going to save me by any means. Um, I could take that other sword for the three damage. I'm gonna think about it, because I would have three damage, which means I could kill the black skeletons in one hit. But then my healing would come at a decelerated rate. Okay. My healing would come at 10 kills rather than 5 kills. Which, you know... Wouldn't be, like, the worst thing. But, given how much I've gotten hit... I think I might want to just keep the health. Because having... Just the extra little bit of... I mean... Well, that solves our problem. Now I'm gonna carry... both swords. I'm gonna carry both of the swords. Dude, this this is getting really stressful, just just a touch. So, yet again I apologize for um not talking as much as I usually usually would in these videos. Damn, dude. Just, I just want to get back to full health. Is that too much to ask? Must be. Alright. God, dude. I might just use the cheese. Oh, the song! No, I didn't get the other sword! Oh, that's so upsetting. Um, I am gonna not use the cheese yet. Gonna quickly focus. That was not great at all, but we lived, I guess. We were so happy together until my mother got sick. I just want to help you, Melanie. Can't you see that? 
There's a reason my mother took that thing away, Dorian. Don't go. I have to find it. I, I have to risk it. <sighs> okay. Okay, uh, I need to relearn all of these guys. <laughs> heck is going on what is going on okay no idea what just happened there um okay wow um not sure how i didn't die there or have anything else happen to me. But. Will not. You will not see me complaining. Just just a little confusion is happening. About what just. I mean obviously I got teleported. Dude. You would be dumb if you didn't think I was going to farm full health off of this thing. So, uh... <laughs> This might be a little boring for a hot second as I, uh, ow. Okay, well. All right, all right. How am I not dead? Somebody please explain to me how I'm not dead. Oh my god. We're just gonna let that... Dude, this is insane. Alright. Um Not what I wanted to have happen there. We are at one heart. 
Dude, come on. You couldn't have contained anything useful? Okay. Hopefully, this thing spawns things quick enough. Dang it, dude. I did not mean to do that. Guys, I'm focusing so hard right now. I messed this up. Okay. We have a lot of health back. Okay, where am I going? Where am I going? I need to find the exit. <gasps> Dude, it's the final boss. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude. Oh my god. We're at the final boss. Oh my god. Oh my god. I should have bought the DLC for Zone 5. Literally, okay. <sighs> I don't know how to beat this guy. I knew what I had to do. I figured out what I had to do. He needs to charge into that thing. Oh, no. No. Dude. That was so good. That was so good. I figured out what I had to do way too late in that fight way too late because I knew 
right when right when he started charging around at me i knew what i had to do but i was trying to clear out all of the other enemies on the floor to try and make that goal easier but unfortunately i died and unlike gungeon i don't think i'm gonna do a salty run back because i don't know the odds of me getting back to the final boss or final boss I don't know if this is the final boss. I don't know. I don't know this game at all. I don't know this game that well. But. Man. Alright. Well, wow. That was. <laughs> yet again. These games are going a lot better than I expected. Now, I know for a fact. FTL is not going to go this way. Because. I am a lot worse at FTL, and FTL requires a lot more strategy, and I have, I don't have that strategy with FTL. Um, but wow, that's all I can say. So, uh, we're not gonna do a salty run back. Um, we're gonna hopefully get there again though. Um, and what what other characters do we have unlocked? We have We have Cadence, Eli, Bard, Dove, Monk, Complete and all characters run. Complete the game with Monk. Complete zone four. So I think what we're going to do is we're probably going to continue running Cadence until we beat the game as Cadence to just unlock a bunch of the other characters. And then we'll probably just go down the line. We'll probably do Cadence, Melody. Um, well, what this, what this confirms though to me is that Zone 4 is not the, the completing the game because you have... All of these people, well, Melody and Dorian would then have the same unlock requirements because if Zone 4 is, if you beat Zone 4, you unlock Dorian, but apparently that is not completing the game as Cadence. So, I don't know what that's going to mean. What's after Zone 4? What's after Dead Ringer? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out next time on Episode 2 of Crypt of the Necrodancer. Thank you for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.